Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well, I hope you're having a great uh, day and um, as always, thank you for subscribing. Um, so right, yeah, so I'm going to be now listening to a Blamange track called Waves. This is the official music video, so I'm really kind of hoping this doesn't get blocked. Um, I have heard this vaguely in the past, I can't remember anything about it really. Um, and I've definitely never seen the official music video. Um, so this track uh, was taken from the album Happy Families. Uh, it entered the UK Top 40 on the 19th of February. And it peaked at number 19. And this was in 1983. So um, I do have like a bit of um, other information about this, about the title and the video. But I'll kind of share that with you afterwards. Um, I'm just kind of really looking forward to seeing what the video is all about. And... Uh, Kind of maybe reconnecting with this song um i can't even remember how it goes um i the only thing i know about the song was that it was kind of slow um and it was a contrast to a couple of other hits that they maybe had so yeah without further ado this is blamange with uh, waves and i'm really looking forward to this <coughs> I've got to say actually, the girl that they just showed there looks an awful lot like the girl who was in uh, the AHA video. I don't think it is, but it just looks a little bit like her. just kind of really kind of watching this video and thinking I would not kind of want to be doing <laughs> making a video like this I know how, how I am with like ships and boats and stuff like that and and I would have been like hurling chunks over the side for absolute 100% certain um, I kind of I think it's kind of really brave to do to make a video in that these kind of seas uh, clearly is hanging on for dear life um, the mermaids that they kind of showed a little while back, they seem to be fine with it. It's really cool. It probably wasn't much fun, but I reckon they probably had a bit of fun doing that.
That was a Blumandre Wave. That was a great video. I really, really enjoyed that. I've never seen that before. And um, I, I can only imagine that unless I think his name's Neil Arthur, unless he was used to kind of being on boats and stuff that uh, that was probably um, it is probably going going above and beyond um, um, the call of duty for his art there and um, by being on those boats because I, I definitely wouldn't have been on those boats uh, I kind of went on a boat in Spain and uh, I spent most of the time um, sort of curled up in a board downstairs feeling pretty sick um, so it's not for me uh, but yeah, it was a really kind of atmospheric video. I, I love the uh, change in tempo from the previous single that they had, which I think was Living on the Ceiling. Um, and this one kind of felt quite uh, melancholy. Um, and also I was really impressed with how, how powerful his, his voice was. Um, sometimes when you kind of hear these pop songs, they don't... Uh, you, you kind of know that they don't really have to extend themselves too much on some songs. So uh, when he kind of uh, he, he he kind of reached those real high notes and he held it there for a while, I thought that was really amazingly and impressive. Um, I I think this video is I'm I'm just looking at the lyrics actually. There weren't very many lyrics to this song actually, even though it was four minutes long. Um, so I'm going to quickly skip through them. Uh, waves, then goodbye. I live in a wave of thin dream. I I can cry. You know that time. Time's not kind, but I remember the way we were. Slow, slow, sad love. I wonder, do you miss my love? I know you can't. It's just a wave passing over me. What are these waves? They're coming over me. It must be my destiny. Waves coming by. Goodbye, goodbye. What are these waves? They're coming over me. It must be my destiny. So again, I think we're kind of talking about the span of a lifetime. I think what's it, what's really interesting about video these videos music videos that do have the imagery of the sea, uh, waves of uh, um, of of that kind of coastal nature. Um, I think um, when we kind of think about our lifetimes, and I, I believe that this he's actually saying what has happened in his entire lifetime, and um, but in comparison, um, the, the the sea and the shore and the coast. It's kind of, it doesn't really have a lifespan. It just seems to kind of carry on. And um, it's like uh, sort of trees and land. Uh, we can live our entire lives and, and we just disappear in a blink of eye. It's just another wave um, passing through. Um, and I kind of feel that is what this song was about. It's about falling in love, losing love, um, having life, losing life. And none of this uh, is that kind of important on the grand scale of the life of the ocean, the life of the sea. Um, and I think that's that was a real kind of cool comparison. Um, it's had a real kind of melancholy feel, as I've said. I love the strings um, playing it out towards the end. Um, just add to, add to that, um, add to that kind of like sadness of, um, of time passing by. Um, and we just become like a significant dot um, after that. Now I do know that the the type the song came to him came to Neil Arthur, um, and this is kind of funny. He was working, um, and it, this is what he said: he was working in out of a caravan on a building site, and his job was to hand um, slabs of concrete of paving slabs to builders as they came through. It was a summer job. He said it was a lovely weather and. Um, and he just kind of kept thinking of his of his, of his song waves, his title, and maybe he was formulating the idea for the song right then. And um, and I kind of smiled in the beginning of the verse because he said, um, "I live in a wafer thin dream," and uh, and to me that kind of felt like it was maybe. It, obviously, it had a greater depth if you take the whole song into account. But then I was kind of thinking of a wafer thin, thin dream. He's kind of. Not wafer thin, but slabs. These paving slabs aren't massive blocks of uh, concrete. There, these kind of wafer thin slabs that you're handing over to builders. And I just thought maybe that was in his mind. Maybe that was the first line he came up with. Um, it's um, I like these fun little kind of uh, stories behind songs. Um, and even though maybe he only came up with the title, I thought it was kind of pretty cool anyway. Uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you have any thoughts about this song or any feelings or any memories, 
um, please join me in the comments below um, if you know anything about the Alpha or Blumange uh, or you might want to suggest another track to listen to again feel feel free to uh, comment and I will always kind of reply as if I can um, to every comment that I get um, yeah so till next time take care of yourself guys and have a great great day